Hey everybody, it's Joe from GreenLightSound.com and coming off the last video I did where I highlighted Tony Maserati, first video I did covering some of his techniques, we're going to look at another one today and that is Tony Maserati's Mix Bus Compression Settings. So let's jump right in and take a look at it. The compressor that Tony Maserati uses is the Shadow Hills Mastering Compressor. It's available from UAD and Plugin Alliance. I have the Plugin Alliance version right here. And let's take a look at the settings right now. Now it is set in dual mono, so the left and right channels could be set differently. They aren't, so we're just going to take a look at the left side of the plugin. Keep in mind the right side of the plugin is going to have the exact same settings. First of all, the optical side of things is out here, so these settings really don't matter. It's not being used. That's why the meter select is on discrete. That's the compressor section we are using. The discrete ratio, it's on its first setting right here. The attack is slow all the way to the right. The side chain filter is in, so we're letting a little bit less of the low end affect the compressor. So the detection circuit's not listening to the very lowest frequencies. This is just putting the discrete section in, of course. Set to dual mono, so the left and right sides are being compressed independently. Your transformer down here is set to nickel. We've got a fast recovery right down here, all the way to the left. And the two settings you'll probably have to change mix to mix are the threshold and makeup gain. Depending on how hot the signal you've got coming in is, you may be getting more or less compression that you want. Generally on the mix bus, you're gonna look for one to four maybe dB of compression. Some engineers like to push a little harder, maybe six dB. I like to generally keep it in the one to three dB range, just kind of gluing everything together, but not giving you really obvious compression effects on the mix bus. So first we're gonna start the mix with the plugin engaged, mess with the threshold until we get the gain reduction we want, and then probably uh, adjust the makeup gain as needed. there we go, just maxing out just past 3 dB of gain reduction. Now I'm going to bypass the compressor on and off as the mix plays. Just check out the bypass button right up here. So it's subtle, but the best way I would describe it is you get a little bit of pokiness with the uncompressed version on the mix bus where things are popping out a little bit. And when you have the, the mix bus compression engaged, everything, for lack of a better term, glues together. You don't get those little elements poking out as much. It just smooths out the full mix as one unit rather than a bunch of individual tracks. Listen closely again for the little popping out of some of the transients and how they get smoothed out with the mix bus compression. If we wanted to push a little bit more gain out, we could push the discrete gain back up one more notch and see if we get a better sort of A-B comparison between the two. Just a really easy way of gluing things together across the mix without really obvious compression effects. So there they are, Tony Maserati's mix bus compression settings on the Shadow Hills Mastering Compressor. If you have any questions or comments, let me know in the comment section down below. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already, so we can keep you in the loop as to what's coming up next, and I'll see you in the next one.